Well, folks, this is an update of uh, Lake Oroville and the situation with the dam. Um, and just to be fair, because that's what we do around here, this is the official word today coming out of the uh, Butte County Sheriff. I have recently heard rumors and concerns expressed about the Oroville Dam and its spillway. Given what our community has been through in the past couple of years, I wanted to provide an update on what I and my team have been doing to monitor the situation. We have been monitoring the situation and activities at the Oroville Dam throughout the reconstruction of the spillway and the emergency spillway. I personally visited the site just days prior to the last use of the spillway and then right after DWR closed the gates. I had staff present at the site during the last spill to monitor it. I have talked with DWR, uh, Kuwait, and members of the Army Corps about the new spillway and its performance. I visited the site again on Friday, May 10th. I spoke to engineers and hydrology experts. I questioned them and about their ability to manage the inflow. Based upon all that, I don't believe that there is a current imminent threat. If I come to believe there is a problem that puts the safety of our community in imminent danger, I will not hesitate to alert people. And that's the uh, sheriff of Butte County. All right, so that's the official word. The sheriff is not concerned, but I have some questions. Now, I've been watching some other shows and uh, hearing a lot of commentary and reading comments, folks. And the consensus is with a lot of people that these live cams are not really live and that they, they started looping a few days ago. Well, I'm not even sure how long ago, but they started doing three-day loops. And uh, so these cams are not live. There is no live cam, cam available to watch the spillway or watch the work that's being done on top of the dam. So my question is, if that's true, why did they cut off the live stream of Orville Dam? So that's suspect in itself. And we, we really should be concerned as well, folks, is because this will be the first big test of this new spillway. So to say that you're not concerned and everything is going to be all right, when the new spillway and the, the construction has not been tested yet, well, it is going to be tested properly, for sure, coming up very soon. Lake Oroville Dam right now, the level is 889 feet, a little over that. The failure point in 2017 was uh, a little over 900 feet. And unless they do some major spillway usage here soon, we're probably going to hit that 900 feet rather quickly. And that is because the next week there should be a substantial amount of rain in the Lake Oroville area. So indeed, uh, tomorrow, starting tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, one day off on Monday the 20th, and then again more rain in the forecast on the 21st. So. Obviously, that's going to impact the lake. And let's talk about the Sierra Nevada a little bit. I didn't know this until recently, but there's been record snowfalls in Sierra Nevada. I believe I read somewhere in February, I believe, there was six feet of snow in 24 hours. Six feet of snow in 24 hours. And the winter there's a winter storm watch issued for Sierra Nevada here in the next couple of days. The National Weather Service has issued a winter storm watch for the Sierra Nevada above 5,000 feet from Wednesday afternoon through Thursday. And that's supposed to dump an additional six inches to three feet of snow in the mountains. 
Now, folks, think about when all of this record snow starts melting and pouring down into the lakes. What level are the lakes? So what I'm saying, folks, is this is not doom and gloom and I'm not, you know, I'm not. Uh, this is not fear porn. This is bringing up some facts that that spillway and that dam is going to be tested big time. And if I was living there, I'd want to know that. I'd want to know the facts and I would be keeping my eyes and ears peeled for any information about what could affect the spillway. So, you know, I, I, to me, honestly, I think it's irresponsible to make a statement that, you know, everything is going to be okay and uh, you're not concerned or you don't feel like there's any imminent danger when you know all of this stuff is in the forecast and the snow hasn't really even started melting and we're having spring snowstorms. And that snow is eventually going to melt and increase the level of the uh, of the lake. So that's the latest, folks. Uh, I'll keep you updated. Just uh, continue prayers uh, for the people that could be affected by an incident. But if they do know of anything, I would hope to hack that they would inform the people immediately. But to, to evacuate a, a few hundred thousand people on a dime is a, is, is a pretty heavy task. Anyway, God bless you folks. Take care. We'll keep you updated. And we'll talk to you soon.